Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. <laughs> I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? So today's video is going to be yet another fragrance video. You girls have been loving my fragrance videos. Like y'all have been eating them up. My TikTok has been doing numbers when I post fragrance stuff. My Instagram has been doing numbers. Like you guys love the fragrance stuff and I'm so freaking glad. I'm just now getting into fragrances and finding what I like and different notes and like you know learning different things about fragrance the chemistries the types of fragrances there are and all of that so I'm so happy that I have you guys along with me teaching me telling me to try different things and I'm happy that I'm able to you know share my collection with you guys and show you guys the different fragrances I've been loving and tell you guys to try different things so I decided to come at you guys with a feminine fragrance collection so these are all fragrances that make me feel the most feminine like super girly super playful super pretty femininity is honestly subjective like you define your femininity and these fragrances are just fragrances that you know just make me feel the most feminine like all my fragrances make me feel beautiful make me feel confident but they all make me feel differently like they all give me a different vibe so these fragrances definitely give me that more everyday wear super girly um you know just running out or i could be putting them on you know for special occasions and special events but i just decided to switch things up a little bit and show you guys this part of my fragrance collection so without further ado let's hop right into the video and let's get into these fragrances so just like all the other fragrance videos y'all know i'm kind of bad at like explaining fragrances like y'all y'all get it so it's gonna be set up the same way i'm gonna tell you guys you know how i feel about the fragrance the vibe that i get and then read the notes to you guys because i feel like you know that'll help me help y'all so the first fragrance is actually bella by vince camuto and this is one of the ogs i talked about this in my first fragrance collection she's definitely an og she's definitely empty it's like a teeny teeny bit left in her and i actually missed the opportunity to re-up on this fragrance i saw it at marshall's it was only like 30 dollars, and i freaking missed it i went back and ain't having them when i'm tight but hopefully when i go back soon and they have it again if not i'm gonna just tell my mom to get it because she works at a perfume store but i freaking love bella like oh, i haven't smelled it in a while this will be my first time smelling it probably since the last fragrance video a few months ago so let's see how she smells mm. oh my gosh y'all mm. mm. oh my gosh definitely very womanly yeah, definitely very sophisticated very womanly very pretty definitely gives me very like grown young woman I love this freaking fragrance so much. It's very like juicy and a very delightful scent. A little seductive, but I feel like that's what gives it like that mature scent, like the seduction in it. So I, y'all, let me read y'all the notes. So the top note of this scent is bergamot. And if you know, you know. Yeah, I know I love me some bergamot. So that is the only top note. And I feel like that's really what draws me to this. The middle notes are nectarine blossom and jasmine. We do. It's very florally. It isn't a fruity scent at all. It's very florally. But it's not like grandma stinky florally. Like it's very like pretty florally. And the base note is white amber. And this is a very simple scent. But it definitely does do a lot. You will definitely turn a lot of heads with this scent. Like you will have guys chasing after you with this scent. I promise you. So go ahead and cop you some Bella by Vince Camuto. The next scent is another OG. And it is Juicy Couture. Again this one is dry. Like this one there's nothing in it. But I have a um, smaller size of it but this one is definitely there's nothing left like not a single drop of this i definitely have to re-up because she is an og my first ever fragrance y'all i will never not wear viva la juicy but let's see okay i do smell it a little bit mm, so playful like it's such a playful girly scent like just so so pretty oh i love this scent i freaking love it so the top notes of this fragrance are mandarin orange and wild berries we definitely do smell the fruit in it the middle notes are honeysuckle gardenia and jasmine um this scent is a little tricky because it is very sweet but because it has both fruit and flower notes i feel like they work well but you know at first scent you really can't tell if it's fruity or florally 
but the blend is just so perfect so they definitely work well together and the base notes are caramel praline vanilla amber and sandalwood and i feel like that's another reason why i like this scent is because it's a gourmand we have the edible notes of caramel praline and vanilla <sighs> y'all like this you just can't go wrong with it like this is probably everyone's first fragrance like you just can't go wrong and i feel like even when i get like older 35 45 maybe not 55 maybe 55 maybe i will still gravitate towards this scent like it's just so perfect such a perfect everyday scent going out scent it's just it's so versatile so that's why i really love this scent and you just feel so pretty in it the next fragrance is another juicy couture and you guys saw her in my first fragrance collection and it is viva la juicy le bubbly and like just look at the perfume like it's just it's so girly and feminine just by looking at it like so you know it's going to be that girl like she ain't come to play like she did not come to play i love the details of this fragrance guys oh my goodness so this scent you can definitely tell it's a viva la juicy scent because i feel like they all have like certain similarities but it's definitely very very different from the original scent it's very bubbly it gives you very like bubbly happy laughter playful like super like you know that kind of girly very peppy so freaking good like very versatile again such a pretty scent day to night um summer to fall to winter to spring like it's just very versatile scent like you really cannot go wrong with this type of scent as well so the top notes are champagne blood orange wild berries mandarin orange and pink freak y'all know i got braces i can't talk <laughs> and pink freesia <laughs> and um again like we have that champagne note hence the name le bubbly but it just gives you like really bubbly really popping like scent the middle notes are gardenia vanilla orchid and jasmine and the base notes are praline amber and wizzy notes and again another gourmand because we have the edible notes of champagne and praline and you know all the other fruit notes so definitely a go-to if you have not smelled this yet i definitely do suggest you go to your nearest perfume store and see if they have it and definitely give it a try the next scent is yet another scent i already like you know discussed i feel like all these scents i already talked about but this is mark jacobs perfect and honestly like i said in the last video perfection very girly very playful very pretty you can just tell by the packaging again like a lot of these fragrances you can just tell by the packaging like the ones that have more mature um packaging they are very womanly but you know very feminine and womanly and then the ones with the really playful packaging in my opinion are very like youthful girly but not in mature sense like very mature but very like living in your youth if that makes sense but i definitely do love this scent a lot like oh, it just gives me like oh my gosh i love this scent like oh, i love it like i can't even explain it i wouldn't even say like it gives me like summer's day or like because i honestly would wear this year round but it's just so playful so pretty so girly but still sexy like it's still like has that like seductiveness to it like if, if a guy smelt me in this he would want my number like on site like but sorry i got a man but this scent right here she's that girl so the top notes of this fragrance are rhubarb and narcissus the middle note is almond milk and the base notes are cashmere and cedar and again we have this is another gourmand um we have the almond milk a very different different note that we are not used to seeing i don't have any other fragrance with an almond milk note in it but it's just so freaking perfect and it smells different on everybody but still so good like i really don't know how to explain this but perfect like just the perfect name for this scent so if you have not smelled this yet head to your near sephora and get you a sample shoot buy just buy it just buy it here you go don't even hesitate don't second guess buy this fragrance the next fragrance is an old-time fave like she will forever be a fave i feel like this is my first like 
well i don't want to say this is like my first luxury fragrance but like this was really what got me into wanting to try different fragrances it was this fragrance right here like got me wanting to go to different stores and get samples and try things and buy and build my collection it was definitely this fragrance right here every time i have it on i get a compliment like i get compliments on like my fragrances all the time but every single time this fragrance is a hit i love this fragrance so much so pretty like such a pretty scent Mm, like so perfect it's a little powdery but it's not like bad powdery it's not grandma powdery just ugh, so freaking perfect so let me read you guys the notes for this so the top notes are pomegranate and lemon the middle notes are green apple rose petals and geranium and the base notes are wisteria and jasmine perfection in a bottle this was the first scent that i had that just always made me feel feminine like this was my go-to date night scent i wore this on my first day with my boyfriend and he was just like you just smell so good like honey it's the burberry get you a burberry spend the coin invest in burberry let this be your first luxury fragrance if you don't have a luxury fragrance yet because you will not be disappointed this scent like my other scents like the juicy couture and the vince and the um mark jacobs i would wear them every day day to night all seasons but this one i strictly only wear this for special occasions because it just makes you feel like that girl that chick when i spray this and i walk through the door all eyes are on me with this scent and that's what you want so definitely go cop the next fragrance is another burberry scent y'all know i love me some burberry and it is burberry her again um very sleek and sophisticated packaging but super super girly super feminine i feel so beautiful in this scent Mm. Oh, oh my gosh so beautiful um unlike the my burberry blush i would wear this every day only because it just makes me feel like that girl all the time like not you know that girl for special occasions that girl all the time so very pretty very i don't even like just oh, like the only thing i can describe this as is just pretty like her it's literally in the name feminine beautiful gorgeous it's this scent so the top notes are actually a lot and they are all fruit so we have strawberry raspberry blackberry sour cherry black currant mandarin orange and lemon the middle notes are violet and jasmine and the base notes are musk vanilla cashmere oak moss wood amber and patchouli and y'all know how i feel about patchouli bergamot and patchouli are my two favorite notes if they are in a scent I am automatically attracted to it. I can sniff them out like a hound. And patchouli is just so sexy, so musky. And a lot of people don't like patchouli because it's so musky. But I like very sexy, seductive, musky scents. I feel like that's what makes them very like adult-like instead of being like so playful and juvenile. But definitely definitely a go-to scent. So make sure you go ahead and get you a sample. Do what you gotta do, but find a way to get your hands on this scent last but not least guys oh my goodness i definitely do love all of my fragrance purchases that i have been making recently but this is definitely a fave i definitely only wear her on special occasions but this is i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess by killian and if you know you know like this is that girl there were rumors that this fragrance was discontinued and only being sold in russia but that's just because people have been selling it out like lightning like when auntie jackie posted this scent i knew i had to get it i looked at the notes and i just knew that i would absolutely love this scent like it was definitely a blind buy i didn't know if it was gonna stink if it was gonna mix well with my body chemistry but it definitely definitely does the job it's super long lasting like you spray it on yourself and on your clothes and you will still smell it when you go do your laundry like a week later like i love this scent i definitely do feel like that girl it definitely makes me feel feminine but very like sophisticated grown woman i have money i got me a little corporate job like that's definitely what this scent gives me and i like i said i only wear it on special occasions oh my gosh like oh like y'all know how fragrances give you like nostalgic um memories like you know scent is linked to memory and stuff like that this scent is reminding me of when I went to LA, I only wore this scent. Oh, I want to go back to LA with my boyfriend so bad. Like, that was a really fun trip. Y'all see in the vlog. But let me let y'all know about these notes. So, the top note is lemon, which I honestly did not know until I looked at my iPad just now. The middle notes are green tea, ginger, peach, hedion, hedion, I don't know, hedion. 
it's a flower jasmine and apple and the base notes are marshmallow vanilla and benzoin and again we have another gourmand with the green tea and ginger notes i feel like those are definitely different like i don't have any fragrances with green tea or ginger in them and definitely with the marshmallow i don't think i have any notes with marshmallow in them and fun fact about this entire collection there are four other fragrances in this collection so i think it's kissing boys and after the sunset as well as princess so killian he made the collection basically to be a unisex collection for you and your lover to share the fragrances but honestly in my opinion the reason why i'm featuring this fragrance in this video is because it honestly is the most feminine of the fragrances out of all of them i personally would not want my man wearing princess it's literally in the name why would i want my man wearing a fragrance called princess that's a and b it's so like sweet and girly and pretty i don't want my man to smell like me so I, I don't know what Killian was, you know, thinking when he did what he did. But um, I think After the Sunset is the next most feminine one out of the collection, in my opinion. And then the other two are definitely more masculine. But, you know, like I said, they're all supposed to be unisex. So if you are a guy watching this video and you wear princess, definitely comment down below. Like, let me know how you like it. Or like, you know, if you know a guy who wears it, definitely comment down below because I'm very curious. I just personally wouldn't get it for my man. But if there is a guy that out there that wears it, like, I'm definitely curious. Um, you know, we all have different body chemistries. So it might not smell feminine. Like, it might smell super masculine, super sexy on a man. So I just, I don't know. I'm not spraying it on my man to find out. But I, oh, I love this. I love this. I, I'm going to stop talking. When it come back in stock and so forward, go get it. Because I, I I know for a fact it's probably out of stock. But go find it. Cop it. Enjoy it. Put it on the shelf. Frame it. <laughs> Some. Because this is that girl. I got the full size. Because I just knew I was going to love it that much. And another blind buy that I fell in love with. So guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell so you guys are notified every time I upload. And yeah, like I have definitely been enjoying the fragrance videos you guys have been as well i'm going to keep them coming but i feel like i'm going to shake it up a bit i'm not only gonna just sit here and like list notes to you guys i'm gonna teach you guys how to find fragrances for the low like you know specific stores that are definitely in your area that you can go find fragrances how to find you know specific notes that you like and how to like find different fragrances that go with your body chemistry and how to you know figure out your body chemistry because a lot of us who are not into fragrances don't know but don't fear i am officially your new fragrance bestie all things fragrance don't forget to come to me but i hope you guys like the video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye loves